Are you a remote professional who's spending a lot of time writing emails, replying to emails? Well, you're not alone. According to McKinsey, almost all professionals spend 28% of their time answering work emails. Luckily, we now have ChatGPT and it can actually speed up the process for you. So how can you use ChatGPT for your emails? Well, basically, there are three ways that you can use it. One is to help you draft complex emails. So for example, if you're sending a proposal to a new client for a totally new service, ChatGPT can help you do that. You can also use it to edit an existing email that you wrote, but you're unsure whether it sounds right. So you can actually ask ChatGPT to edit it for you and suggest improvements. Number three is if you're completely stuck with an idea and how to start an email, you can also ask ChatGPT for advice on how you're going to craft your email. So what are the ChatGPT prompts that you can use so you can master your email inbox? So the first thing is to write an email from scratch. So you can say something like, hey, ChatGPT, write an email to my manager asking them to grant my vacation request from this date to this date and provide all of the reasons as part of your prompt. My absolute favorite prompt that works with every email is write a professional and friendly reply to this email. And then you copy and paste the email that you received. The last prompt is perfect if you already have something written, but you want ChatGPT to review it and see if there are improvements. So you can say something like, Hey, ChatGPT, suggest improvements for this email to my manager about my vacation. Remember that things are only prompts to get you started and you can go deeper and edit and rewrite everything that ChatGPT suggested to you as the output. So feel free to play around with the prompts and you can also visit our blog. It will be linked on the video below so that you can get access to more prompts when using ChatGPT. So you might be thinking that, yay, ChatGPT can help me a lot with writing emails and replying to emails, but there's still a lot of copying and pasting involved because you have to go from the email and then go to ChatGPT, type your prompts, and then paste the replies. And then once the, you're satisfied with the output from ChatGPT, now you have to copy it and paste it into the email reply. So that can still be a lot of steps. So that's why I'm using Tactic. It's a real-time transcription tool for basically all of your calls, whether it's Google Meet, Zoom, or Microsoft Teams. After the call, you'll get access to the full transcript and get this. This is the best part. You're able to create AI meeting kits for your transcript. So first you can get the summary with the AI. And then the next thing that you can do is create a follow-up email meeting kit. So you only have to create this meeting kit once with the chat GPT prompts and it works within tactic. And then you can keep reusing it for all of the future calls. That way you don't have to copy and paste anything from chat GPT and you just have to do the prompts once. You can learn more how to use AI meeting kits on tactic.io. Now, you might be thinking if you can use ChatGPT within the Gmail interface, and the answer is totally yes. That's possible if you use Chrome extensions that using OpenAI's ChatGPT and integrate it into your Gmail interface. And that's possible using tools like Remail, Flowrite, Rapid Reply, Missive App, and more. So make sure to click the link that directs you to our blog post about ChatGPT for emails. That way you can master your inbox. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video gives you more ideas on how you can use ChatGPT for your emails so that you actually spend less time worrying and typing about an email. So make sure to go to tactic.io if you want to learn more about AI meeting kits. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.